hello learners in this lecture we'll see what is the total quantity of cement bag uh, the coarse aggregate and the sand that is required if i want to do a 500 square feet of this lab now let us say you're working as a site engineer and you have a 500 square feet of this lab and the manager has told you that we need to do the casting of this lab now quickly tell me what is the cement bag that is required the sand that is required and the aggregate that is required then how do you approach such problems when you face in the real world so here is an example explaining that now this is a square feet what i have and it is given that the five inches is the thickness of the slab so first what we are going to do we'll try to convert this in terms of cubic meter i mean in terms of meter so 500 square feet is the area what is given to us we know that one meter is equal to 3.28 feet and if you want to uh, convert that in terms of square meter you can multiply that by 10.76 that is how you try to get now i have a 500 square feet if I want to try to convert this in terms of square meter, I have to divide it by 10.76 because if you try to multiply 3.28 into 3.28, you are going to get 10.76. So 500 divided by 10.26, it comes out to be 46.5 square meter. Yeah. So now how do you, now we have five inches is the thickness of the slab. If I try to convert this in terms of mm, we know that one inch is equal to 25.4 mm. So five into 25.4 comes out to be 125 mm. Now it's very simple. Now we have an area, we have the thickness for that. Try to multiply that. We are going to get the volume of a concrete that is required. So I'll try to do it manually as well. So 46.5 into 0.125, if I try to do, I'm getting 5.81. So that is why you can see 5.81 cubic meter here. So 125 mm comes out to be 0.125 meter. Now let us assume that M20 is a grade of a concrete that is used that I'm using. Now we also know the ratio of a M20 grade of a concrete. M20 stands for M is a mix, 20 is a characteristic compressive strength of that particular concrete. So one stands for cement, one and a half for the uh, sand, and three for the coarse grade. Now if you refer Indian Standard Code Book of IS 456 2000 it is directly given that if you're using a m20 grade of a concrete you have to make use of minimum 400 kg of 400 kg per cubic meter of the cement uh, 600 kg of the sand and you have to make use of 1200 kg of the coarse aggregate so with these things what is given in the code book we'll try to do that so the total cement required for that concrete will come out to be how much see cement it is given 400 kg per cubic meter what is the total cubic meter we have got 5.81 so 5.81 into 400 if i try to multiply get i'm getting 2325 that's it so i'm getting here 2325 kg of the uh, cement is required but when we try to order the cement we order in terms of bag and we know that uh, one kg uh, one bag of cement contains 50 kg so if i try to divide this by 50 i'm going to get the number of bags it is coming 46.5 let us consider 47 bags so you can you are getting 46.5 here but we don't uh, order bags in terms of 46.5 you can make this as 47 bags right so that is how we try to order the bag yeah now come into the sand so again for the sand i'll clear this again for the sand it is written 600 kg of the sand is required if you are making use of uh, for this much amount of one cubic meter now how much thing how much things we have here we have uh, uh, five uh, we have 5.81 cubic meter i'm multiplying that by 600 so it comes out to be 3486 kg so the sand comes out to be 38 uh, 3486 kg now coming to the coarse aggregate the double of the sand will be a coarse aggregate or you can try to multiply that as well that is 1200 into 5.81 if i try to do 6972 kg is what i'm getting so this much amount of raw materials is required in the site if you want to do a casting of a 500 square feet of the slab having a five inch thickness so, right so now we'll try to take one more uh, small example now let us say you're working in the site and you have a hundred meters of reinforcement rod with you and you want to know this hundred reinforcement, hundred meter of rod what we have how much area is going to cover so for that we have a simple formula again it depends on the diameter of the bar that we are using we'll try to see that so before that we have a very raw formula where we are going to get the weight of the steel the formula is that i'll write it here the formula is that d square d stands for the diameter of the bar divided by 162 162.5 also you can take it as or you can keep it as 160 we'll we'll consider this to be 162 only so what is d d stand for the diameter of the bar now let us say you're using a 8 mm bar so how do you how do you get the answer 8 square 
I'll do it as 8 squared divided by 162.5. I'll put it as 162 only. You can take it as 162.5 as well. So divide by 162, it comes out to be 0 0.39 uh, kg per meter. That is, see, I'm getting answer of 0 0.39. So whatever, whatever answer I'm getting, it is in terms of kg per meter. But what is the total meter we have? We have a 100 meter. If I try to multiply this by 100, I'm going to get the total kg. It comes out to be 39.50 kg of the steel. So with the, like this, we have certain calculations. With that, we will get an idea of how much uh, you know uh, kg of the steel uh, it will it comes out to be if I have this much length of the rod. Similarly, let us say if it was not 8 mm bar, you had a 12 mm bar. Then how many kg it comes out to be? Now the simple calculation, instead of 8, take it as 12. So 12 divided by 162, it comes out to be 0 0.89 and multiply this by 100. So it comes out to be 88.89 kg of the steel is available. If you want to make, uh, if you're having a 100 meter, 100 meter of bar, having a 12 mm diameter, right? So in this way, we need to make certain good calculations so that we get a quick estimate. I hope uh, it is understood up to here. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.